I'm here in the Oxford Valley Mall, and today we're going to take a tour of Macy's, one of the remaining anchors of the Oxford Valley Mall, along with J.C. Penney. Recently, we lost Sears, unfortunately. As you can see, there's a good amount of cars on this entrance at Macy's. So people are still coming to Macy's in the Oxford Valley Mall, which is good to see. And there's the classic logo. So we're just going to take a little walk and see what we see. It is Thursday, 6 p.m. There's the Windy City or Windy Tunnel. Remember how windy that area would get, guys? You'd be losing your hat, your gloves, your slippers. There's somebody riding a bike to the mall. That's good to see. People still riding bikes. Remember riding my bike back in the day and locking it up and people stealing my chromies and whatnot. So let's take a look inside. Does Macy still have the 80s, 90s look and feel? Let's take a look-see. And we got a little directory to start to help you find your way. And by the way, guys, I do plan to make more Ox Rally Mall videos. So if you can subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up, I would appreciate it. And we got a lot of clothes to start. This left side was always a discounted area. We could find some reduced pricing. And uh, what else did we see? Oh, looks like we got some holes in the chimney. Did, did someone come down the chimney, guys? Hopefully no one's in here trying to rob the place while we're here. But don't worry. I know Kung Fu and a little MMA, so we'll be okay either way. And we got some Adidas clothes here to the right. I actually like Adidas. It's probably my favorite apparel. We got some swimming trunks and scuba diving stuff, it looks like. And there's Tommy Hilfiger. That's a big brand. There's Macy's. So you will always find designer brands here, although expect to pay two to three times more because it is Macy's. Although my favorite brands are Calvin Klein, and you can guess the second one, which is Guess. Um, so yeah. So here's some uh, jewelry we have over here to the right, and more clothes to the left. And uh, we'll just see what we see. Take a nice relaxing stroll down memory lane, or st stroll down. Oh, sorry, miss. How you doing? And uh, more clothes here to the left. And we got some makeup, I guess, coming up. There's the escalators. That looks classic. So, guys, so far, Macy's does look the same as it did in the 80s and 90s. I really don't think a lot has changed. I think the layout looks similar, and I like it. I like how it still has the classic look, the same setup. Um, it is still clean and updated and maintained, which is good. So uh, not a lot has changed with Macy's. I probably haven't been here in about 10 years. Um, you know, to be honest with you, it looks like a Ricky Martin picture for some reason. Um, a lot of cologne, perfume. I actually used to come here about once every eight years to buy my cologne. That was about it, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. So let's take a little walk inside, outside, see what we see out here. And it looks pretty cool. I like the tiling. But there used to be a water fountain right here, guys, where you could sit and relax, which I love the water fountains in the mall. I miss them. Um, but what can you do? So here's the inside entrance of Macy's, which looks nice, clean, and just how it used to. It looks like it hasn't changed. So we're going to take a walk to the left side, and this is the first floor. Later we will go to the second floor. And to the left, it looks like they got a cool sunglass section. I like that. Maybe they got those $500 Johnny Cage glasses I always wanted. And uh, more clothes. In case you didn't know, Macy's is known for clothes, jewelry, makeup. It's not your average department store. You won't find washers and dryers or toys. Although I heard Toys R Us is coming back inside every Macy's store, which is very cool, very 80s, very retro. Probably have to shoot a video of that. There's a lot of swimsuits and a lot of women's handbags. Some more makeup, jewelry. So yeah, and the, uh, more handbags. And you can see there are people in the store, which is good. So make, Macy's is getting some people traffic. You know, people are still shopping in here. I like to see that. Looks like we got some necklaces, jewelry. I don't know. I can't see. I'm just walking and talking. Looks like they got Black Friday advertised, guys. Black Friday is not till Turkey Day in November, so I think that's a little early. So Macy's actually has a little shoe department, which I never knew because I've never been back here. And here's a little fun fact. 
Back in the day, they used to actually call me the shoe man because I used to make the best cement shoes, you know, for friends or foes, whoever needed them. Okay, guys, so I think that's about enough for the first floor. Let's check out the second floor because we're moving on up like the Jeffersons. And I always like the Macy's escalators. As weird as that sounds, I kind of like the look of it. When you're looking outside to the right, upstairs, downstairs, the windows slightly tinted, are you coming or going? You don't even know if you're coming or going. But I always liked it. You know, and it's relaxing up the escalators. So you can take a little peeky. And uh, I also used to like Boscow's escalators back at Pomeroy's Leviton Shopping Center. I don't know. That's just an interesting thing to let you know. So they actually have some bedding upstairs, which I wouldn't have known. And over here, what do we got? We got some kitchen stuff for those of you that know how to cook. Um, by the way, I can make a mean tuna fish sandwich. Um, hey, how you doing? That's me in the mirror. So we'll take a walk around. More kitchen stuff, utensils, I guess pots and pans. We got some luggage. Hey, what's up, ladies? Um, more bedding. That's pretty good. Sometimes you need a bed to sleep in, you know. I actually have a lot of bedding. I'm surprised. So that's good. Making Macy's a little more versatile. A lot more different than the first floor. And even over more bedding over here. Wow. Second floor is all beds. What's going on over here, guys? Um, but that's good. And then we get a little peek at the escalators I like. See, a little tinted. Are you coming? Are you going? I don't know. I'm just flowing. Got somebody walking down. See, they're enjoying the escalators too. Alright, so we got some more women's clothing here. And more clothes. Alright, so now we're back to the old Macy's. Tons of clothes. Upstairs, downstairs. Clothes galore. And again, mostly women's clothes. There's some Tommy Hilfiger. So yeah, we're finishing off this top left half with lots of clothes. You need clothes, you come to Macy's. So let's take a little look-see outside, see, and remember the beautiful Oxer Valley Mall, second floor. How does it look? Man, I used to love the look, the smell, the feel of the 80s, 90s Oxer Valley Mall. And right over this rail, down below, was the beautiful water fountain. With those pillars you could sit on, eat a hoagie, have some crackers. Man, I miss that down there. So relaxing. I think there was three water fountains in the mall. People used to throw coins, make wishes. You know, you'd pretend you lost your watch in the water and then you'd be picking up quarters for the arcade machine. Spaceport. Ah, don't get me started. Alright, so here we go. We got some side entrances. Macy's always had these. Macy's Backstage. Off price, on trend, arriving daily. I never went in those. They kind of scared me and make me nervous. And there's the classic Macy's lettering logo. But look at the beautiful ceiling of the Oxford Valley Mall. Guys, that's how it looked in the 80s and the 90s. So the ceiling is still the same. The only thing we're missing is the indoor trees and the ramp. All right, now I'm going to stop because I'm going to get sad. And we have to continue with the Macy's clothing tour of the Oxford Valley Mall because coming up in four months is Black Friday for the big sales. So you got four months to prepare guys because November is right around the corner. So we got some more women's clothing. Lots of clothes as we said guys. Clothes galore on this tour. Black Friday sign. Okay ladies and gentlemen I think that's about it for my tour and memories of the Oxford Valley Mall, Macy's, and I was impressed with what Macy's had to offer. I still enjoyed being here and reliving it, and the look and the feel, and obviously these escalators, you know I'm loving. But guys, right now I want you below in the comments section to share your favorite memories of the Oxford Valley Mall with us all. And while you're at it, give my video a thumbs up and please subscribe, why don't ya?